This mysterious capture by YouTuber Gullion Rocher leaves me with many questions. Rocher explains in the description that she saw this strange man outside her window marking a tree. Nakita niyo yung ano lalaki. Meron siya pinapahid sa puno. Tago lang tayo onte. Meron Doberman. Ano yung ginagawa niya sa puno? Loko to ha. The man can be seen doing something to the tree for a time before grabbing his dog's leash. Anong plano mo? Anong inaano mo dyan sa puno, ha? After the stranger left, the YouTuber went to investigate. So, yan yun. Ano yung ginawa niya kanina rito? It looks like the guy scraped the bark from one side of the tree, leaving a mark, but for what purpose is still unclear. I'm not sure where this video is filmed, but YouTuber BioCyber suggests that the strange man is a Russian sleeper agent marking a target. This is where my head went to, although I wasn't specifically thinking Russian. This may be a spy or agent marking this site for himself or other agents to later find. What do you think is going on here? Spooky Gotham goes exploring an abandoned and in factory building in India. <laughs> because it's rumored to be the source of much paranormal activity according to local gossip. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the ultra creepy moments they've caught on tape and see if they're really paranormal. <laughs> Leaving the building does not solve their fears. They appear to be arguing about whether or not there's a paranormal mist in the shape of a figure when more scary things are caught on camera. <laughs> Watch for the yellow ghost orb at 31 minutes and 47 seconds. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Freaky, right? He and his team know they have to press the paranormal investigation forward and keep exploring the abandoned factory. But their courage doesn't last for long. They run off screaming without ever getting a chance to see what was following so close behind. But wait, at 16 minutes and 32 seconds, they appear to have caught a phantom apparition on camera. A scary man who is not part of the ghost hunting group in the slightest. They think it's a scary face looking back at them, but it could just be a piece of rotting drywall shaped like one. Either way, I'd say this abandoned factory building in India is haunted by something paranormal and that it's probably too spooky to keep making ghost hunting videos there anymore. This family has been affected by dark magic for years. They believe it's witchcraft because they found unexplained earth crosses and voodoo dolls outside their home. This professional has come to release them from the bad energies. She starts by doing a ritual. ¿Estás bien? ¿Estás bien? Acá conmigo. ¿Estás bien? No la volteas a ver a ella. Acá conmigo. ¿Estás bien? ¿Quién eres? And then the ritual intensifies. ¿Quién eres? No, acá. Conmigo. Aquí conmigo. ¿Quién eres? Acá conmigo. Respira. The victim is then released from the ropes. 
romper tus ataduras. Voy, voy a romper lo que no permite que tú puedas seguir adelante. No, te voy a cor cortar las ataduras, te voy a liberar. Respira, te voy a liberar. The woman then balances what looks like a glass of milk atop the possessed lady's head. No hay nada que te retenga. Tranquila. She becomes weaker. And it truly looks like something is possessing her. Tranquila. Whatever is haunting her is hurting her. This pair is connected somehow. Tranquila. Tranquila. Respire. 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 The woman tries to catch her breath calmly. Respire. No, que. A ver, a ver, a ver. Acá, arriba conmigo. Aquí. Respire. Respire. Inhale y exhale. Despacito. Inhale y exhale. And then they both appear to be released from the spell. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Aide. ¿Cómo estás? Regresa, 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 muñeca, regresa, 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 Aide. I find this whole ritual intriguing. Not only are the steps involved interesting, but it seems to have worked. But will it last? I guess only time will tell. Old ship vessels are often known for their ghostly secrets. After all, they've seen the greatest evils on earth in the name of battle. Published to YouTube in February of 2013, the ghost activity abroad this Navy ship, the USS Hornet, originally aired on DE episode 32. The crew member can be heard explaining how to use the EVP when in the background of his discussion with the newbie, you can hear a strange voice, one that sounds like a little girl. Alright, if you'd like to speak to us. It's hard to tell what the girl is saying without the voice being isolated in the audio file. Although YouTube commenters have their theories, YouTuber Madcaps and Nemos writes, It sounds like she said, Can you tell me why they forgot me? Others hear, Do you think they know they got me? Some simply hear, Play with me. What do you hear? Some friends practice soccer and talk about life when they cross paths with something that will change all of theirs forever. Caught on camera is what they claim to be a strange goblin creature clamoring across the kitchen floor. Only one of them looks directly at it and he drops to the ground and covers his eyes like they burn. The creature, which barely comes up to waist level, runs out from behind this area behind the refrigerator. 
They lose sight of the goblin in a dark room, and the encounter is over, at least for now. A man in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, encounters what he calls a zombie sighting when he sees a stationary figure stare at him without moving. Not even loud music or oncoming headlights are enough to make him step aside or respond. I'm pretty sure that this person has a major problem that they need to get help for, but this would still be beyond creepy to see late at night, especially considering the next driver might not be paying enough attention to swerve out of the way. A very sad situation indeed. A woman feels sorry for her cat because it recently lost its best friend. She begins recording a Snapchat after she notices her cat is meowing, like it's looking for its companion and feels sorry for the little guy. That's when she accidentally records something terrifying. The head of a shadow figure peeks out from the foot of her bed just before her Snapchat ends. Her only remaining cat is all white, so that's not it, and nobody else is in the house with her. The size of this shadow figure's head looks small, more like an animal than a person, so maybe this was the cat she recently lost, which happens to be a black cat by the way. To me, it looks like it wants to climb into bed with her, just like it always has, and perhaps the other cat was meowing not out of loneliness, but because its friend is back again. Seeing how she claims to have felt watched all week, I'd say it's a strong possibility. Me attempts are usually done under the cover of darkness. They're usually done with planning. They're usually quiet and choreographed, so as not to draw any undesired attention. Not this one. A home in the Tower District in Fresno, California experienced an attempt of bizarre proportions. It was all caught on security camera. Christine Paul, the victim of the attempted break-in, said that the female assailant claimed that her friend lived in the home. When Paul told her to leave, the woman wouldn't take no for an answer. The woman paced Paul's front porch for 15 minutes, pounding on the windows and front door. This is when Paul called the police and waited in fear for their arrival. When Paul told the woman she was armed, the woman started to retreat, but that's when police showed up. The officer asked if the woman lived. What do you see around this corner? Published by Arte Morbid and originally posted on TikTok by Haunted Wesley E. Manor. This short clip is just one more proof that the manor is truly haunted. In a very dusty chamber of the castle, watch the corner of the arched doorway closely. What appears to be the figure of a small boy with glowing eyes peeks out for a moment before pulling back behind the barricade. He seems to be hiding. Is this a ghost? Or some small kid playing tricks in the castle? Most in the comments think it doesn't look human and call it very creepy. What do you think? I think we are going to be left with more questions than answers for the time being. Did a spirit just drift out of this possessed doll? Published by Paranormal Nightmares in March of 2022, the uploader writes, My daughter said in the night our cat scratched on her bedroom door. He never does this. We checked security footage and captured this. This video shows a strange gray mass floating out from one of these creepy dolls. It looks like smoke or mist. The cat obviously sees it and soon tears off. Did we just witness a spirit exiting? Whatever it is, it made this guy a scaredy cat. Is this just a smudge in the window? Or is this ghost watching you? Published by Korean channel Lonely Gang in July of 2019, this scary video was originally captured in August of 2013. The footage shows a cameraman walking alongside some abandoned buildings at night. The camera turns down an alleyway when up in the corner of the window. On one of the buildings is a ghostly face staring at him.
A still shot of the window shows the creepy image up close, and it looks like a semi-transparent young man looking sideways out of the window. What is the identity of this ghost? Any guesses? All I can say is that whoever this is, it clearly wants people to stay far away from this building. If you thought food tutorials were never scary, think again. This video, posted by YouTuber Post Content, entitled Food Tutorial, was published in August of 2019. Don't let the title fool you. You won't be learning how to bake a cake with this one. The video starts in what appears to be an abandoned home. A flashlight shines against the cinder block wall. While the man filming asks, Do you hear that? Do you hear that? The camera pans to the floor, where a box cutter lies on the ground. There are some rumbling noises and then a loud sound, after which a regular rumbling is heard, like a cell phone ringing on vibrate. The man walks down some wooden stairs onto a lower floor of the house. The vibrating sound continues. Okay, calm down. They're in the box. The man tells himself to calm down and says they're in the box. What's in the box or who? The viewer is left to guess. Somehow you want to know and you don't want to know at the same time. He heads towards the far room, saying if there's anything else, he'll put them in the box as well. If there's anyone else, I'll put them in the box as well. Things just got creepier. He wanders around this abandoned home talking to himself and exits through a doorway, which leads outside to a forested area. He wanders through the heavy shrubbery, looking for ghosts, mumbling in a whisper. Go around in the bushes trying to find a strange noise. He then comes across a rope. He follows the rope, then it falls dark. As his flashlight returns, you can see something red on the ground, but it's hard to tell what it is. He walks further, filming the ground. Still, it's unclear what exactly he's looking for. It appears he's arrived at a shed or barn with a vehicle and some farm equipment inside. There lies a bale of hay. Leaning against the bale is a sign that simply reads, Hungry? Atop the hay bale appears to be a head of cauliflower. The man puts down the camera, and you see a shadow lift the cauliflower to eat. He says eating it will keep them away, then is followed by a strange monologue including a foreign language which, as some have said in the comments section, is Danish. If this is a tutorial about anything, it's about not eating a random head of cabbage sitting atop a hay bale at night. You might lose a tooth, but the question remains, what's in the box? If the backstory to this video is real, then none of the friends you are looking at here are still alive. Their families gave police permission to release this video in hopes of solving what happened to them. At some point during their final car ride together, they go through a lonesome old tunnel in the middle of a private country road. They don't think much of it until they come across the same tunnel again. And then a third time, they are driving in a straight line and not a circle. Yet this creepy location keeps greeting them as if they never left. It only gets worse when the engine stops working. If you think this video is fake, then please take a moment and tell me how they were able to make it look like their car breaks down. Just, just, just don't here. I don't want to say. Anyway, not too long after their car stops working, a song skips on the radio and this figure heads straight their way. And when the car works, they go to reverse. You can see the figure immediately appears behind them in return. I think this last part looks like it could be an amateur horror movie, to be honest, but tell me if this part is editing or not, and then we'll know the real truth. We've all been warned never to pick up hitchhikers, but that advice especially goes for paranormal ones. This dash cam footage was posted in July of 2019. The dash cam's clock shows that the clip was taken around 2 in the morning. If you blink, you'll miss it, so pay careful attention. Driving down a dark and empty highway, 
day, the car is traveling at a fairly fast speed when off to its right, in the empty lane, appears a figure. Some say it has its thumb out for a ride. Do you see it? Is it a ghost? Or is it just a regular person with a bad wish? After all, who hails a ride in the middle of the road during the darkness of night? Only someone who's looking to get run over, or at least doesn't mind testing fate, whether ghost or real boy. This isn't something you want to see while driving down a dark road at 2am. It might very well send you into a terrified tailspin, making you the next ghost on the highway. Would you invite yourself into a demon's home? Published by Toppy in December of 2021. That's what this ghost hunter did, and he would live to regret it. He quickly realizes he is not alone. After hearing faint footsteps on the floor above, he sets up his camera in the darkness. That's when this happens. Later, he is trying to communicate with the poltergeist, and he receives an answer. Это ты всех мучил здесь. Will he heed the spirit's warning? No, he will not, and the demon doesn't like it. Would you stay a minute longer inside this haunted place? A minute seems too long to me. Ready to hear one of the most bone-crunching sounds in the world? This was captured at the Australian Reptile Park. The bone crunching noise gives me the chills beyond belief. According to the BBC, saltwater crocodiles take the lives of an estimated 1,000 people per year, many more than sharks do. Would you want to run into one of these monsters? Me neither. These residents captured an actual witch on camera hovering right in their driveway. Shared by YouTuber Madison ENT, the footage was taken at around 3 in the morning. Watch closely above the vehicle. Baby. Baby, come on, see, baby, baby. The mysterious being drifts for a moment, and all you can see is its glowing eyes and wild hair, and then it does this. Whether this was a witch or not, I think it was important to run away. My advice to this YouTuber would be to put as much space between you and this thing as possible. Millions of people all around the world wake up in the middle of the night for a midnight snack. And that's exactly what happened in this YouTube video published by Paranormal Nightmares. The uploader says her husband went downstairs in the middle of the night to pour himself a bowl of cereal. So far so good, but this seemingly ordinary trip to the kitchen at night quickly turns horrifying. Okay, so we start here. He just grabs, you know, cereal out of the cupboard and a bowl. And right there, I'm sure you saw it. The cereal box just moves completely on its own. And what I like about this video in terms of authenticity is that the cereal box is coming straight from the cupboard. There's no possibility that it could be a string causing this. And right there it goes. And he's clearly perplexed by this, a little almost nervous. And right there the cereal box goes again. Some commenters on this video have questioned why there's seemingly a security camera set up inside the kitchen of all places, but the uploader has not responded to this. Perhaps they have them set up in various places in case of things like this happening. Of course, this could also have been done with the use of a very small string 
but as far as I can see, it doesn't look like anything is attached to the cereal box. Plus, the way the husband reacts to this box moving seems very genuine. His facial expressions seem quite confused and a little creeped out, especially towards the end of the clip. Who wouldn't be freaked out if they saw their cereal box moving by itself? What would you do if your security camera caught someone or something poking its head inside your home? Posted by I Like Chia Seeds to the Ghost subreddit. The Redditor states that their neighbor lives alone and that sensor light kept flicking on and off during the night. But as it would turn off, the sensors weren't just glitching out, they were sensing someone who wasn't supposed to be there. The footage shows someone peering into the home, wearing a mask of some sort. Redditor Lame suggests it looks like a dude wearing a mask, a hoodie, and a baseball cap. Ex Julian of Norwich X responds that perhaps the stranger's cap mask combo forced him to look up to see if he'd encountered the homeowner. When he realized it was just a motion light, he backed slowly out of the home. Others say if it was a nervous man looking to take something, his reaction was much too calm in response to a light turning on in the home he was about to take from. Do you agree? If that's not the case, then what is it? The silence and foggy stillness underwater are spooky enough, but encountering a ghostly wreck 20,000 leagues under the sea will put you in another world. Published to YouTube by Tim Powell in February of 2010, this footage captures the aftermath of the SS Thistlegorm in the Red Sea. The British armed merchant ship was powered by a triple expansion steam engine and built in 1940. A year later, in October of 1941, Germans sunk the SS Thistlegorm near Egypt. The ship was headed to Alexandria on its fourth and what would be its final voyage. The ship sailed south around Cape Town, South Africa. Due to the German and Italian occupation of the Mediterranean, an accident in the Suez Canal caused the cargo to be held up and moored at safe anchorage F for about a month, which turned out to be not so safe since there is where it was sunk. Guided by local fisherman Jacques Cousteau, rediscovered the wreckage years later recording his findings in his book The Living Sea. Ever since, the shipwreck, which lies about 100 feet below the surface at its deepest, has been a hotspot for recreational divers, mainly due to its treasure trove of cargo. After all, it's a steam train that's been waterlogged for upwards of 80 years. This footage is a window into its underwater world that fish, seaweed, barnacles, and coral reefs have now overtaken. Here's a scary basement we should all probably get out of. Published to YouTube by an everyday Canadian in April of 2016, the Canadian says in the clip he heard a banging in the basement that wasn't the washer or dryer. <sighs> His kids are asleep upstairs, and he's freaked out about the sounds coming from below. As he heads downstairs to the unfinished basement, you hear immediately what he's talking about. A loud bang in the darkness is heard off to his right. Still, he continues to descend. After turning his light on, he scans the room. The light catches a small toy shopping cart in one corner of the room that's apparently not supposed to be there, judging by the man's reaction. The little cart then starts moving on its own before zooming across the room towards him. What the f was that? What the f what the f This is where the video ends abruptly. We hope that the everyday Canadian made it out alive. A YouTuber named Michael JP86 is recording a cemetery late at night to see if anything strange will happen. Sure enough, a mysterious light materializes in the distance. What is that? Is that car stopped over there? At first, they suspect it could be the headlights of oncoming traffic, but when no vehicles drive by, they realize, much to their horror, that the light is actually coming from within the cemetery itself. According to Michael JP86, the rectangular shape shown here is actually a doorway made of pure light. Watch again in slow motion, and you'll see a small figure run into the doorway moments before the light fades away.
If this isn't paranormal, then let me know what you think caused the light to appear, and also what the shadow running into it was. A ghost was seen in Banaras, India, walking across rooftops. The sighting scared many locals and led to a police investigation. Twitter user Banarasians tweeted this video of the incident. Did you see the figure? Take a closer look. So far, the police haven't discovered what the figure was or who was behind it. Maybe that's because it's absolutely real. What do you think? I'm on the fence with this one. This YouTuber didn't notice what he'd captured on camera until he played it back later. And when he saw it, he was scared. Published by Sphinx2720 in March of 2010, the scary video was taken at Gettysburg. The investigator is standing amongst some boulders at the beginning of the clip. He says the cluster of rocks is called Devil's Den. As he walks around the den, he appears to capture the devil himself. What looks like a large cloaked shadow figure is looming right in front of the den. Another oddity occurs at the beginning of the video and was noted by Akeo Ateo in the comments. As the investigator is getting his bearings with his camera, a dark figure in the distance beyond the nearby rock is spotted lurking past. What is going on here at Gettysburg? Do these figures have anything to do with the area's history? A flaming torch in the forest revealed this group was not alone. The uploader writes that these friends were having some drinks in the woods when two of the young women saw a mysterious creature watching them. In the clip, the group is enveloped in darkness. That is, until one of them tosses a flaming torch toward a tree. It lights the brush at the base of the tree and it also lights this creature hiding behind it. The extraterrestrial looking figure is crouched low at the stump of the tree, but its large cranium and eyes briefly appear. You can see it back away for a moment behind the tree, and then as the camera moves in closer, its hands extend long spindly fingers. What is watching them? It looks like something out of this world. Spooky Gotham goes exploring an abandoned factory building in India. <laughs> because it's rumored to be the source of much paranormal activity according to local gossip. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the ultra creepy moments they've caught on tape and see if they're really paranormal. Leaving the building does not solve their fears. They appear to be arguing about whether or not there's a paranormal mist in the shape of a figure when more scary things are caught on camera. <laughs> Watch for the yellow ghost orb at 31 minutes and 47 seconds. Hello? Freaky, right? He and his team know they have to press the paranormal investigation forward and keep exploring the abandoned factory, but their courage doesn't last for long. Hey. <laughs> 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 
They run off screaming without ever getting a chance to see what was following so close behind. But wait, at 16 minutes and 32 seconds, they appear to have caught a phantom apparition on camera. A scary man who is not part of the ghost hunting group in the slightest. They think it's a scary face looking back at them, but it could just be a piece of rotting drywall shaped like one. Either way, I'd say this abandoned factory building in India is haunted by something paranormal and that it's probably too spooky to keep making ghost hunting videos there anymore. Spirits seem to love to announce their presence by turning the lights on and off. Before we had flashlights, it was oil lanterns and candles. The scary phenomenon continues in a haunted house in South Wales when a spirit is told to show a sign. Startled, they investigate the incident by asking the ghost to communicate through this light. It's hard to tell from this creepy video if the flickering is a faulty wire or paranormal activity. A strange grin across his face at 1 minute and 47 seconds is a difficult response to read. A scared and nervous reaction is probably it. He's really being brave. Only a true ghost hunter can smile through their fear. We've all heard of the Headless Horseman, but have you heard of the Headless Errand Boy? Published to YouTube in February of 2020, this clip will have you doing a double take. The clip shows what appears to be a man without a head in Asia carrying a shopping bag as if just running some errands. He walks out into traffic and slides between two cars to cross the street. No one around seems to notice the oddity. The fact that he's without a head phases no one. The car he cuts in front of even beeps loudly, just hurrying him to get out of their way. So are our eyes deceiving us? Or is this just some fancy edit? This one has me scratching my head. Trevor Dealey didn't show up for work and his co-workers are worried. He never misses work no matter what. When he misses another day, they call the Dublin police. Detectives check cameras. Trevor is a redhead over six feet tall, hard to miss. The year is 2000, so they don't have many CCTV systems, but they have enough. This is what they find. His co-workers were with him at an office party at a bar called Copperface Jacks. They moved the party to a nightclub called Buck Whaley's, and Trevor Dealey stays there until close. It's about 3.30 a.m. at this point, and Trevor has already said goodbye to all of his co-workers. He will see them tomorrow. Trevor doesn't go home from there. He's in a good mood, so despite the wind and rain, he goes back to his place of work, a bank that's open 24-7, to grab an umbrella and to talk to some co-workers. Outside of the bank is someone else who doesn't mind the bad weather, a man dressed in all black. They cross paths at 3.34 in the morning. This man has been here since 3.05, simply standing around a bank in the middle of the night for about half an hour. He waits 8 seconds and then follows Trevor to a side gate. There they talk for 10 seconds. The stranger is as tall as Trevor and looks stronger. Trevor unlocks the gate. The man waits for at least a minute as Trevor talks to some people inside. He doesn't mention the man dressed in black, so he must not have felt in any danger or else he would have no doubt asked for help. About half an hour later is when Trevor comes out with an umbrella. He unlocks the gate and heads home. The man dressed in black appears. Five minutes later, Trevor leaves his best friend a voicemail. Hi Glenn, I've missed you there. Just on my way home, all going good. I'll talk to you tomorrow. It was the last words anyone would hear from him. Trevor is on Haddington Road except something looks wrong. He's in quite a hurry. 22 seconds passed and someone speed walks behind him, a person wearing all black, and that's where the trail ends. None of the other surveillance cameras show Trevor again. He was definitely moving fast in the last video. He could have been running because the rain got worse, but I'm fairly sure he was being stalked. 
police were able to verify that the man dressed in black behind him was the same person who was at the bank. Standing outside of a bank for a half hour at night is shady to begin with, but then waiting for a half hour for someone to come out and following them for another 15 minutes home is all the circumstantial evidence detectives needed to determine Trevor had his life taken. They were never able to learn who the man dressed in black was. The disappearance remains an unsolved mystery 20 years later. Not even a 100,000 euro reward in recent years has been enough to make anyone step forward. With that said, the case was reopened in 2016. The video is uploaded by the National Police Force of Ireland and needs more attention. I would like to make the surveillance video go viral in hopes that someone has the answer. He probably lost his life, but we can't rule out being taken captive. Maybe we can help find him and give his remaining family closure. When you're laying down some beats alone at night, the last thing you want to see is a phantom specter drift past a window out of the corner of your eye. This video was posted by East Coast Radio's YouTube channel in October of 2013. In the description they write, In the middle of Shershin's late night show, the lights and desk shut down and a mysterious figure appeared in the studio area. This area is secured, nobody can get in it without fingerprint authorization, and shows no one entered the studio complex apart from Shershin himself. If we take the studio's word for it, you must admit that such events would be creepy, and when you watch the video itself, you feel even more unnerved. The shot shows Shershin at the mixing console, the lights dancing up and down the table, all the lights in the studio are on, a moment later they all shut off, apart from the computer monitors and emergency lights, darkness falls over the studio, Shershin picks up the phone to call someone and stands up. Watch the window off to his right, a dark hulking figure lurks past, which seems to alarm Shershan, as no one is supposed to be in the studio. He heads over to the window to get a better look before returning to the phone. The mysterious figure doesn't appear again. While likely not a phantom, as the mystery man looks too solid to be supernatural, what would an intruder be doing entering a studio at night, being that no theft was mentioned? It doesn't seem like burglary was the motive. And why did the lights go out? All very mysterious. Do you think you know what caused this? Some people are afraid of nuns to some extent, so imagine how a nun spirit might terrify someone like that. The Ouija brothers entered the UK's most haunted nunnery in this scary video. Early in their investigation, they hear this spooky sound. I'm just walking, I'm just having a look if there's anyone there. It was a humming. The humming happens again shortly after. Hold on, hold on, the, the, the humming just happened again. Later, they hear something rustling very near them. It sounded like someone, you see there's like debris there on the floor. I don't know if it was like debris falling on the floor, but it was like movement. I don't know if something, like something like that. Was that just some of the debris from the wall falling off? Or is someone invisible standing in this corner? Considering how spooky this place feels, I personally think a ghost nun is there. Say your prayers. Donnie regularly sees what he thinks is a shadow person in his home. It's always in the basement, always coming from the corner of his eye, and always going way too fast to be a normal person. He can feel its anger downstairs, and he knows that it wants to do him harm. Donnie decides to put music on blast to see what kind of reaction he can get on camera. After 20 minutes, this shadow can take no more and races upstairs, causing these lights to move. Soon the same angry feeling returns, and Donnie knows that it's back. He starts recording down a dark hall, and these bottles move on their own. You are not welcome here. You and I both heard them fall, but no one else is around to knock them over. At least nobody that I could see. And just around the corner are the stairs leading down to the dark, cold basement. A girl stacks cups while her siblings watch, but apparently something else is watching too, as a little doll rises up for a closer look. The way it sits up looks like somebody has to be hiding behind the television, but it doesn't look like there's enough space for anybody to comfortably fit behind. Not even a child. 
Maybe they ran something through the back of the cabinet to make the doll sit up. If that's not the case, then I think it's probably time to board up that room and sell the house. Just when you think you've got your fear handled, it starts to eat you alive. This is an Instagram post gone wrong. This woman has a voice like a nightingale and is recording herself to showcase her talent. But your focus is shifted by the strange supernatural mirror that magically appears in the background, with the camera facing selfie style toward the girl. At the beginning of the clip, you can see the space on the wall behind her is empty. She shifts, and suddenly there's a small mirror posted there. As she continues to sing oblivious in the mirror, strange reflections emerge and disappear sporadically. Being as it looks like she's in the classroom alone, these figures appearing out of nowhere are more than frightening. And when she finally realizes something's off, she springs from her seat screaming. She flees the classroom. Where did this mirror come from? Who or what was being reflected in it? And more importantly, what did they want? It's a shark, it's a duck, it's neither of those things at all. In September of 2017, YouTuber Jack Heath posted this video of an unidentified creature swimming in a river. He asks his audience to weigh in, saying his friends couldn't decide if it is a shark or a duck. The short clip shows a dark river at night, lights reflecting off the water. For a good 20 seconds, you can't see anything at all, although you can hear voices speculating on whether something unseen is a shark or a duck. That is, until this spooky ghost white creature nearly surfaces at the edge of the water. It's a duck! I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not just not spoiling it! <laughs> Doesn't look like a shark or a duck at all. As YouTuber Tweedle notes in the comments, his friends were obviously talking about what caused the wake in the water earlier in the clip, not this unidentified monster that briefly appears up close towards the end. Is a plesiosaurus or something like that? He writes, Though they're originally from a time period of many millions of years ago, so are alligators. They're thought to be extinct, but maybe they're not. After all, they wouldn't be the first creature thought to be extinct that's found to be still alive. While this might seem like a good guess, the OP mentions in the comments that the ghastly creature was just an eerily convincing art installation. Whoever thought art could make your heart stop? This man, known as the Buddy, was one of the most popular users on the TikTok community. His dances were funny at first, but as he gained popularity, the videos became kind of more, well, I guess bold would be one word you could use. According to unverified rumors, the following video was allegedly sent to someone who is not of age. Watch this and tell me if you think this is an appropriate way to use TikTok, because I definitely do not. I mean, you're the cute one here, not me, so. He was reportedly banned for life from the TikTok community for violating their terms of service, but apparently he still has active accounts on other platforms. Have you ever owned a doll that just isn't right? One that you spot on your desk in the darkness of night, staring at you? Published in May of 2015, this footage of a haunted doll will make your toes curl. The doll in question, which looks creepy in its wide-eyed stare already, suddenly does something you least expect. It blinks. The person taking the video hurries off, likely not wanting to see what the doll will do next. One of the freakiest things about this footage is that the doll doesn't look like a little girl's toy. It's a full-grown woman doll, makeup and all. You don't expect an inanimate doll to suddenly blink at you in the darkness. When it does, that image stays with you. It haunts you. Explore With Us is a YouTube channel that goes to abandoned areas to see what they can find. This was taken during their very first live stream when they were checking out a post office and a general store in the middle of an old ghost town. The rickety buildings look ready to collapse at any moment, but what's inside the buildings is not the strangest part of this video. 
About three and a half minutes into the stream, someone tries to make contact with the group. Should I answer that? Hello? Hello? No one is on the other side. All they hear is this strange noise. Obviously, this could just be a prank from one of the viewers, but I don't think their location was ever disclosed. Therefore, it could have just as easily been an old resident of this abandoned town. There's just no way to tell for sure. Also, pay attention and you'll see a faint red light in the distance. Hopefully, it was just a cell phone tower or something like that. But then again, there doesn't seem to be any other structures nearby, just darkness. YouTuber Paranormal Mai believes they've encountered a child genie. Let's see what that even looks like. First, the childlike muttering is heard, almost like laughter. He follows it. The voice continues and the yet unseen child seems to be playing with the lights. As the child's voice grows nearer, get ready. <laughs> Although we never see its face, we see its power. <laughs> Is this really a child genie? What are the extent of its powers? I'm not quite sure, but I wouldn't stand by to find out. This strange deer keeps repeatedly wandering into the yard of a YouTuber named Free Tickies. It seems to be without a herd, so at first Free Tickies suspects that it could be someone's pet, which is not all that uncommon of an occurrence where he lives in Kentucky. After a minute or so, it becomes evident that this deer is sick with something quite serious. Watch here and you'll see how the deer looks disoriented enough to walk up to another neighbor's house. I have little doubt that it would have wandered straight through the front door if it was open, potentially contaminating the entire inside. The YouTuber says that he called the local wildlife authorities and reported the deer shortly after recording this two minute video. I think he keeps a respectful distance for the most part and appears to be safe from any potential contamination. As for the deer, it sadly had to be put down by government officials after it kept walking onto the nearby Route 8 highway. The historic Jefferson has plenty of haunting footage. This clip is one of the most chilling. Captured by a guest staying in the doll room, the footage shows one of the room's many dolls coming to life. First, watch behind the pillow. just peers out like that for about a minute. That movement though. Something peers out. It's one of the dolls. A moment later, the doll falls over. Um. This is the doll in question. The staff shares its creepy history. It does have history to it. Um, typically, you'll put the doll here just to make it look kind of creepy, but we've had several guests say that the doll's not there. We'll come and look and the doll will be behind the chair. One time, the doll is creepy just looking at it, but this footage on top of its history of innate creepiness ensures that I can't handle staying in the doll room. Three friends are driving down some back roads late at night when they've caught something on video that has people questioning what was on the side of the road. What? I don't know. Can I see that? Oh my god, what is that? It's a doll, isn't it? 
can you hear that growling? The creature looks at them as they question whether or not it's been hit and needs their help. While it goes deeper into the forest, they feel like they should get out of the car and check to see if it's alright. I'm really scared. Tom! Where is it? Is it in the bush? A deep growling sound coming from the woods keeps them from exploring any closer. They are pretty sure this isn't someone's dog, like they thought, but they aren't sure what to do next. That's when the decision is made for them. Run. Is it? It sounds really close. Right, get in the car now, Tom. The comments and likes for this video were split 50-50 between believers and skeptics. I might have thought this was real if I watched it just one time, but upon closer analysis, it's pretty obvious this was somebody in a creature costume on their hands and knees. When you look at their feet at 22 seconds, there are no claws and you can tell this is a costume that you step into, or at least that's what I think. Tell me what you make of this bizarre encounter caught on a full moon that night. A group of musician friends are jamming out in the woods in Oregon when a tiny creature suddenly attacks one of them in broad daylight. It's a bat! Holy <laughs> The bat hits Derek on his shoulder with a dull thud and all of the instruments stop. Everyone watches in disbelief as the tiny creature climbs up his body and Derek can even feel its cold snout as it plants its tiny sharp teeth into his neck, just inches away from the jugular vein. It, and then it just bit me. It latched onto his shoulder, then crawled up his neck. He throws the bat off and watches it fly into a tree, where it continues silently watching them from afar. They are freaked out at this point, but they think that it was just a freak occurrence and decide to play some more music. After the bat makes two more swipes at the man, however, his friend has had enough and shoots it with a BB gun. The group takes the bat corpse back to the local health department and has it tested. Sure enough, Derek had been bitten by a rabid bat. He had to get rabies shots for days afterwards. This list is probably making you feel you're as unsafe inside your home as you are outside of it. This entry is no exception. Posted by Borg Burger, this video captures a man who was trying to film inside his neighbor's home. Apparently, the neighbor had been filming inside their home for weeks. The homeowner's girlfriend said that the man often approached her when she was collecting posts and she felt he was creepy. He once offered that if there was anything he could do for her, just let him know. The video shows the man in his own home entering a room across from theirs. According to the video, he picks up his camera which had been charging, positions himself on the floor out of sight, then starts recording from a corner of the window. You can actually see the red light from his video camera appear in the darkness. He peers over the windowsill to see that no one sees him. Then he resumes recording. He is again seen more clearly, standing up to look out the window. Then he ducks back down to resume his peeping position. The man filming or photographing goes on for a solid two minutes and probably longer because this clip seems to have been cut before the man finishes. The clip also shows the man being taken to the station by police. The homeowner said his girlfriend felt incredibly upset as her privacy had been violated. Who wouldn't? Considering her intuition about this man, this just goes to show that you should always trust your gut. A search of official reports of this invasion of privacy could not be found, so it's unclear whether or not this situation ended in charges being pressed against the culprit. Whatever the case, this one will make you pull your shutters closed and lock them tight. A door closing by itself is another classic sign of a ghost haunting the place. And it doesn't always have to be a ghost slamming the door. A gentle closing is oftentimes twice as scary. If you're out there, please shut this door one more time. That's all I'm asking. Just me. Oh my. Okay, I'm, I'm getting seriously freaked out right now. The person who captured the paranormal activity says they were home alone when the door shut by itself a few times. I, I don't believe that just happened. I didn't think I'd get anything. Well, I'm definitely going to be filming this area more.
He says a ghost slammed it shut in the past, but this time it shut it gently. Afterwards, he investigates the door to show us there is nobody standing on the other side because there is no room. It's apparently a haunted staircase, presumably leading to the attic. He says there are no open windows behind him, which was my guess. At one minute, you can see no string around the interior knob, which was my other guess. Freaky, right? This video was published to YouTube by Truthfinder30330 in March of 2020. Truthfinder's paranormal experience is more than creepy. It's absolutely terrifying. According to the man in the video, who is holding up note cards to explain his situation, he's a student who moved into a townhouse with two roommates who'd begun to experience odd happenings inside the home. He attempted to capture video evidence, but was unable to until now. His roommates also reported strange things occurring. On the night in question, they were out and our friend was home alone in the townhouse. He begins filming upon entering his home. As he's walking around, he starts to hear strange noises, including knocking and then something that sounds like a piece of metal falling on the ground. When he goes to check it out in the kitchen, that's exactly what he finds. A metal ring on the tile floor. It looks like it fell off the light fixture. After going upstairs and putting his keys on his desk, the hall light fixture starts to go nuts, flickering on and off statically. When he turns around facing his room again, something is standing there with a sheet covering it. A human form. He pulls the sheet away to find nothing there. He searches his room to see if there's anything to explain the form. Under his desk in the closet, there's no one there. That is, until he opens his bedroom door to the hallway and again finds this. If this video doesn't creep you out to the max, then you must be super ma I'm going to take you to one of the most haunted places in the world. Some people call it the Arnold Estate, but you probably know it as the Conjuring House. Yeah, that one. This 1700s farmhouse in Harrisville, Rhode Island is where the ill-fated Perron family lasted from January of 1971 until June of 1980. During this time, items would go missing and small piles of dirt would show up whenever they cleaned the kitchen floor. Soon they were visited by spirits who smelled of rotting and could possess them at will. That's because it was less of a farmhouse and more of a portal to the underworld. A sorceress named Bathsheba Sherman is said to have practiced arcane magic here, possibly even sacrificing her own kin to better forge a connection with the underworld. People have lost their lives all over the property. Kids floating in a creek and swinging in the attic too. Now it's a place for only the bravest of ghost hunters to go. Jennifer and Marcel of J&M Explorations want to put their skills and equipment to the test. On March 18th of 2020, they team up with some friends for safety in numbers and prepare to explore it, the real conjuring house. They want to see something crazy, so they waste little time heading straight into the basement, the same place where father and husband Roger Perron used to feel a sinking presence behind him whenever he had to come down here to fix the heating equipment, which mysteriously filled many times. The deeper they go, the more they are filled with dread. I don't think it's just them down here, and this is why. Oh my god, it's just the creepiest. Something guides them to a piece of old wooden furniture in the far corner that just so happens to have a kid's drawing on it. Andrea thinks this could be a person with a crooked neck in her words, and I see what she means. If it's not that, then maybe it's someone floating in the creek. As she's exploring what it could be, a small face with large black eyes looks at her from behind. At least that's what some people claim to see. Roger always thought he felt something behind him. The old barn is next. This part is of particular interest. Yeah, this is neat, that old soda. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Marcel is right by her, so it's not him. And here's another voice they catch in the bedroom. 
This one's not in the mood to sing. Make a noise, but you gotta make it close. Make it, make the noise in here with us. Can you knock on the wall? Its voice drips with hatred, and soon thereafter a foul smell washes over Jennifer, the same one who moments earlier was asking for a sign. Well, I think she's got one and don't think she's faking. That smell's coming back, and if I can taste it. I don't, I don't like that at all. I want to get a drink. Go ahead. All right. I'm I'll gonna, stay up here. Yep. She smells the rotting, in my opinion. A stench coming from the door. Watch her reaction when she tries to leave. Oh my god. Just then, their friends enter to talk about their experience while using a Ouija board downstairs. They spelt out a demonic name, and just the mention of it registers on their equipment. The smell is when something evil, demonic, is around you. When we were downstairs playing the, the Ouija board with the yells above, and then they started smelling the smell up here. You see what I'm saying? The meter's going off. And while paranormal equipment is designed to withstand electromagnetic interference, normal cameras are not. Wait a minute, were those the ones that were on that table right over here? The screen turned off without him anywhere near it. A final truly bizarre moment happens when they head down to the dining room and see this hanging decoration is spinning. Soon another one is moving, this time side to side instead of in circles. Here's the same room taken towards the beginning of the video. The camera is not steady, but it's steady enough to tell that these objects are not spinning. It could be far from a vent or a draft, but I don't think so. These dried flowers are meant specifically to keep spirits away. Moving the flowers could be a message from the spirits that this isn't enough to stop them, as one of the ghost hunters points out. So you can say what you want about the movies, but the location it's based on is definitely not some place you'd want to spend the night at. J&M Explorations experience the same type of early situations that the parents had happened to them during their first few years of living here. Before things started ramping up, I guess the house likes to take its time. Oh, and then there's this doll who goes from waving hello at 13 minutes and 47 seconds to asking for a hug at 34 minutes and 39 seconds. So I guess Annabelle isn't the only one with possession problems. If a disembodied voice tells you to leave, you should probably listen. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Mads Entertain, the Redditor was given a warning that might be worth heeding. As he and a friend enter an abandoned house, about one minute into the clip, a creepy old lady voice orders them to leave. They don't leave. Instead, they search the barren house up to the second floor. After exploring, the Redditor is doing his outro when something bangs overhead. If you're new to our channel, again, don't forget to smash that uh, like button, subscribe uh, for new content every Sunday. It sounds like it's coming from upstairs. They hurry out of the house, and the Redditor explains that they had to cut, because after hearing that bang, they heard scraping against the walls and the sound of a door opening. Well, the voice had warned them. What did they expect? The next time you're relieved to find yourself alone in an empty subway car, Consider that maybe you're not alone at all. Published to YouTube in June of 2015, this clip shows a subway car that will give you the chills. A lone man sits abroad the haunted car. After watching the clip, we wonder if he's the sole passenger, because this car has a reputation for being haunted. Because look at this darkened window pane to the left. A scary, distorted face appears here changing expression slightly as the man sits on the opposite side, completely unaware. The face disappears and the window pane goes black again, but the distortion later reappears, looking equally upsetting. What do you think is going on here? Is this an actual face in the window, or just a trick of the light coupled with motion from the subway? A woman with an octopus on her face tries to laugh it off, despite her extreme fear. What does she say here? It's awesome! <laughs>
It's mercifully hanging out of her mouth for now, but if it moves in any further, then it would be reaching down her throat. She is one wrong move away from having her oxygen cut off. Its tentacles squirm around her eyes and across her tongue as she screams and pulls the creature free with one last burst of strength. The octopus itself looks like it came straight out of the ocean. I can only imagine how disgusting the lingering aftertaste must have been. Have you ever got the feeling that you're being followed? Poppy's Paradise posted this footage to Reddit writing, Something is following me. The guy in the clip says he was driving when he noticed something outside in the darkness. He stopped his car on the side of the road to film whatever it is, and he shouts a greeting to the figure outside the window. There's something up here. Hello? As he drives slowly past, the something that he saw following him comes into view. The figure looks like a girl straight out of the ring, dressed in white with long black hair. The ghastly creature is seen only for a moment before the clip ends. Is this thing truly following him? We can only hope this was his only sighting. You would need serious courage to stay calm in a situation like this. Fishing is supposed to be a relaxing pastime. Kick back with your pole and a cold one, and you're set for a pleasant afternoon spent out on the water. But this video, posted on Reddit by Caesar4321, reveals that fishing can sometimes take an unexpected turn. The clip shows a lucky fisherman reeling in his prize catch, a nice little fish which he pulls out onto the banks of the pond in order to remove it from the line. But as he steps closer to his catch, something pops up out of nowhere. Bet you didn't see that coming. Redditor iMusker commented, They are fishing in literal croc swamps, like they aren't asking for chomps. Asking for it or not, alligator incidents are on the rise in Florida. Moral of the story? Don't disturb those muddy waters, or your bones may be snapped in half by some seriously powerful jaws. The Jordanian Ghost Hunter, known only as Mr. Harith, is back at it again with more scary stuff caught on livestream video, this time while exploring an abandoned house once inhabited by an alleged witch. I'm telling you. شوف في الحمام بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خرق this could be one of his friends but each time he looks in the room the witch was just in the figure has disappeared بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم جي بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Things get really weird when this ghost caught on live stream mysteriously disappears as well. This might have been caused by a live stream delay, except it doesn't drop frames and the resolution stays the same. The ghost witch is simply there one second and gone the next. Thomas Gilmer runs a computer store and often buys old computer equipment from his customers on the cheap. This time he gets a computer at a bargain price and when he pops open the cover, he immediately understands why the seller was so quick to part ways. The inside is covered from end to end with the remains of thousands of dried up cockroaches. And to top it off, a single living spider crawls across this disgusting bug wasteland. Look at that. According to the description, the smell of the computer was just as repugnant as the site itself. All I know is that Thomas better hope that none of the bugs were alive and managed to scurry away. A single living roach could go on to infest this building as easily as it did this previous owner's home. This paranormal activity couldn't be clearer. Published by Paranormal Mai in January of 2022, the paranormal investigator is speaking to the djinn that haunts this home. Niyetim sizi rahatsız etmek diye bir şey yok. Sizler bizleri rahatsız ediyorsunuz. As he speaks, the door slowly swings closed and then slams shut. An EVP captures a phrase that means, Shut up, we are at your home. 
Afiyet dinlersiniz. Who exactly is here? I don't want to stick around to find out. A YouTuber named Shannon Sarmi is excited to travel to California, but far less enthusiastic about her flight, specifically her window, which is not sitting in place and makes this unsettling noise. Well, going through the window and I didn't tell anyone. By the time she lands, the first of the two layers of glass has slid down enough to poke her finger through. It looks like she is sticking her hand out of the plane, but she actually isn't. There is one more layer of glass that is hard to see, but still, the thickness of the window is now halved. She notices something was wrong with her window during the flight, but did not tell anyone until the very end, not wanting to cause a panic. I see where she is coming from, and she might have just been too shy and scared to speak up, but I personally think she should have said something, because they might have needed to make an emergency landing to fix it. She was trying to keep everyone calm by not telling, but looking at the condition of the window. I think it could have put everyone's lives in danger, but above all else, I'm just glad that she and everyone else was okay. TT Mando posted this video in 2008 of his ninja cat chasing a ghost around the living room. In the description, he writes, I have never really been a believer in ghosts, but my wife and I have two cats that used to always go nuts seeing things that we could not see. They would howl at the lights in our dining room and chase things around that were not there. It was really weird. So my one cat starts going nutty one night like he is seeing something. So I decided to try and shoot some footage thinking maybe I can see what they are seeing through a camera. The video begins with the cat watching something floating in the air attentively. What is he staring at? While shooting the footage, the YouTuber switched between regular and night vision mode, which is when the ninja cat started climbing the walls. Literally. You can see that the cat has managed to climb to the top of a dresser and is looking up into the corner of the room. Whatever the cat has its eyes on must be moving all over the place because her gaze darts here and there. The cat then jumps down from its spot on the dresser to a scratching post. And then, as its eyes follow the invisible, it jumps up the wall and lands on the floor. It tries again, jumping up the door and managing to get its claws into the door frame. It looks up into the corner of the ceiling, its head still darting around. The cat hangs there for nearly an entire minute, seemingly enraptured by the ghost or spirit in its sights. Seriously, do you see anything there? Because I sure do. According to the YouTuber, a dot of light moved through the TV once he got his cat down from the door. The YouTuber points out the light that moves from the back to the front of the room. If you watch the video closely, you can see it too. The experience was, apparently, traumatic for this cat owner who now sleeps with the covers over his head. Come to the inner workings of a broken down mental hospital. Recorded live to Facebook by Hammy TV. This creepy video takes you on a tour through the extreme ward of Medfield State Hospital, developed over the turn of the 20th century. The 58 building complex held a max of 2,200 patients and was a filming location for such films as Shutter Island and The Box. According to Wikipedia, trespassing between dark and sunrise is strictly forbidden, so these boys aren't exactly following the law. One especially creepy fact about this asylum is that it has 841 grave sites, all of which are numbered instead of named. In fact, Boy Scouts in the area made it their Eagle Scout Service Project to find the correct names of all buried and their dates of passings. If that wasn't creepy enough, watch what happens during this tour of evil. The crew is heading to the third floor, where there were allegedly a few passings. As they're trying to decide how to get up the very broken stairs, the camera pans the upper floor. Keep your eye on the hallway. A shadow person very clearly crosses the threshold. A shadow that apparently the crew didn't see in reality, as they have no reaction to it whatsoever. 
I'm sure when they watched this video in playback, they did. I'm not sure if anyone noticed until it was pointed out in the Facebook comments. But now that it's been spotted, I think this paranormal sighting is terrifying. Thomas Gilmer runs a computer store and often buys old computer equipment from his customers on the cheap. This time he gets a computer at a bargain price and when he pops open the cover, he immediately understands why the seller was so quick to part ways. The inside is covered from end to end with the remains of thousands of dried up cockroaches. And to top it off, a single living spider crawls across this disgusting bug wasteland. Look at that. According to the description, the smell of the computer was just as repugnant as the site itself. All I know is that Thomas better hope that none of the bugs were alive and managed to scurry away. A single living roach could go on to infest this building as easily as it did this previous owner's home. A man follows his girlfriend everywhere with a camera to annoy her because he thinks it's funny. He was never expecting to have caught the scariest moment of his life on tape instead. A fully clothed figure reaches out for him after his girlfriend has left the room. When he pulls back the curtain, it's mysteriously gone. The paranormal moment looks scary, but I think there's a strong chance it's scripted. 38 seconds is when there could have been a jump cut. A jump cut is when they stopped recording, let the actress out of the shower, and start recording again to make it look like no one is there. Also, at 42 seconds, it doesn't look like the shower is on. After spending a day at the pool with some friends, a YouTuber named Austin Grash decides to explore his girlfriend's creepy basement for fun. They soon discover her basement area has many secret areas that have gone untouched for quite some time. No. Hey, look to the right and there's a whole door over there. Listen, that's not concrete, that's, that's hollow. A series of hidden passageways leads them deeper and deeper underground until they come across a final creepy red door. At this point, they can't shake the feeling that someone has definitely been down here before, perhaps even very recently, just when they are talking about what could have possibly taken place down here. They see a bad sign. I want to know why there's chains right there. Where? Chains. I want to know why there's chains everywhere. If these chains weren't used to shackle somebody in place, then please tell me what they could have been for instead, because honestly, that's the only explanation I have. Eventually, one of them bravely kicks open the mysterious red door to reveal an empty room. There is a cellar door that none of them can pry open, so they give up and head back to the surface. Exactly what is in there is anyone's guess. For all we know, maybe somebody below ground was holding on to the other side. Thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers next. Thank you.